Hello, welcome to Free School Exam Preparation. Today we're going to talk about Excel International AS and A Levels Pure Mathematics 1. Today's unit is Unit 1 Algebra and Functions. So in this lecture, we're going to talk about the challenge questions in Chapter 3 and Chapter 4 in this textbook. Okay, so let's just take a look at the first question. So this question is on page 40. So we have two equations, and we know they have exactly one pair of solutions. So that means it's a repeating solution, and show that k equals to positive or negative 2 square root of 2. Okay, so we can represent y with x. So y equals to x plus k. And we plug in this into the second equation. So we have x squared plus x plus k together square equals to 4. So I have 2x squared plus 2kx plus k squared minus 4 equals to 0. Because this one has exactly one pair of solutions, so the discriminant will be 0. So it will be 2k together squared minus 4 times 2, 8k squared minus 4, which is 0. So this one will have 4k squared, so k squared minus 2 squared plus 8 equals to 0. So k squared equals to 8. So we have k equals to positive negative 2 square root of 2. Okay, of course this one, you can also do this geometrically. So x squared plus y squared equals to 4 actually is the equation of a circle. So the center of the circle is in the origin, and also the radius will be 2. Okay, so why is the circle? Because you can think about square root of x squared plus y squared. So this shows the distance between a point x, y to 0, 0. And this distance is always 2 for any x, y. So think about what kind of shape will make this distance always be the same. So that will be the circle. Okay, so let's take a look at what is y minus x equals to k. So it will be a straight line, right? So it can be here. And it can be here, so depending on the value of k. So if they have only one pair of solutions, so that means the intersection will be only at one point. So we say this line is tangent to the circle. So maybe from here to here, right? So I will just erase the, those other lines. Okay, so how do we find out the value of k? Because we know we have y equals to x plus k. So this angle will be 45 degrees because this one equals to this one. So now we draw from the center to this tangent point. So here will be 90 degrees. And we know this is a radius, which is 2. And this is 45 degrees. So this length will be 2 times square root of 2. And same thing for here. So this length will be 2 square root of 2. Okay, so we know this length is the absolute value of k, right? So in this case, k will be positive negative 2 square root of 2. So if k is positive, so this line is tangent to the circle here. And if it's negative, so will be this line. Okay, so that's how we do this question. Next one. So we have three sets. And we have some set operation. We want to find out what will be the value. So what is a? So a here is 3x plus 5 greater than 2. So we have 3x greater than negative 3. So we have x greater than negative 1. So maybe we draw this on the number line. So this will be negative 1. And then here, right, will be a. So how about b? So b is x over 2 smaller than or equal to 2. So x smaller than or equal to 4. OK, so we can do this on the number line as well. So here, let's say it's 4. So we use a solid dot. So go to the left. OK, so how about c? So c is um, 12 smaller than 2x. So x will be greater than 6. So it will be? here. Alright, so what is B union C? So that means it covered either by B or by C, right? So in this case, it will be X, X smaller than or equal to 4, or X greater than 6, because it's covered by this blue arrow or this um, green arrow. 
Okay, so next one. So A intersects with this set. So that means it's covered either by this thing or uh, and also by A, not either, sorry, by this thing and also by A. So if we just look at this uh, number line here, so it will be from this one to here, right? Here is solid and next one is a circle. So this part and also will be from 6 to the right. Okay, so we know this will be x, negative 1, smaller than x, smaller than or equal to 4. And here, because it's all, so we use union, so x, x greater than 6. Okay, so p will be negative 1, q will be 4, and r will be 6. Next question. So this question is on page 51. So the sketch shows fx equals to this and gx equals to this and find points of intersections. Probably we can do this algebraically. So the points of intersections shows x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals to gx, right? So x squared minus 4x minus 12 equals to 6 plus 5x minus x squared. So we try to solve this one. So we have 2x squared minus 9x minus 18 equals to 0. So we, maybe we try a factorization, 2, 6, 3, 1, right? So it's negative 12 plus 3, negative 9, yes. So we have 2x plus 3, x minus 6 equals to 0. So the first intersection's x coordinate will be x equals to negative 3 over 2, or it can be x equals to 6. Okay, so if we know this is x, we can find out um, the y, right? Because we are looking for points, so we need a pair of coordinates. So we're just plugging into either function. So maybe just plug into fx. So negative 3 over 2 together square minus 4 times negative 3 over 2 minus 12. So it will be 9 over 4 plus 6 minus 12. So 9 over 4 minus 6. So 4, 24 minus 9, negative 15. Okay, so first one. Second one. So when x equals to 6, 36 minus 24 minus 12, which is 0. Okay, so we found the points of intersection, which is negative 3 over 2, negative 15 over 4. And also x equals to 0, y equals to 0. Now x equals to 6, y equals to 0. Okay, find x such that fx smaller than gx. So there are two ways of doing this question. So first we can draw fx and draw gx. And also, we can do this um, algebraically. Maybe we do this algebraically first. So fx is this and smaller than gx. So 6 plus 5x minus x squared. So we have 2x squared minus 9x minus 18, smaller than 0. So we just did the factorization. 2x plus 3x minus 6, smaller than 0. So if we draw the graph of this one, not fx, not gx, but this 2x squared minus 9x minus 18, so it will be something like this. So negative 3 over 2, and here will be 6, and it's uh, facing up. Okay, so we want this graph to be below the x-axis because it's smaller than 0. So if it's below x-axis, so it will be this part, right? So the x-coordinate will be between 3 over 2 and 6. So if you write into the set notation, so that will be the answer. Okay, so let's take a look at how do we do this uh, geometrically. So let's say if we have the graph of fx. So because fx has two intersections with x-axis, so probably we can just do a factorization. So x squared minus 4x minus 12. So we have 1, 1, 6, 2, right? Negative, negative 6 plus 2. Okay, so it will be x minus 6 and x plus 2. So 1 is negative 2 here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here. So it's facing up. So fx will be something like this. Okay, so this is fx. And then gx. So gx, we can also do a factorization. So it will be 1, negative 1, and then 
one, negative six. Oh, sorry, negative. Sorry, give me one second. So one six, right? So six minus one, which is five. Okay. So this will be x plus one, six minus x. Okay. So one point will be here. And the second point will be negative one, but it's facing down. So it will be something like this. So this is gx. Okay, so we want fx to be smaller than gx. So in this case, the blue curve needs to be below this green curve. So it will be from here to here, right? And we know this intersection's x coordinate is negative 3 over 2, and here is 6. So if it's below, so x should be between negative 3 over 2 and 6. Okay, so that's for uh, this question. Next one. So this is on page 55. So find k such this one has real roots. Okay, so we look at where k is, right? So it's in the uh, coefficient of the leading term. So there may be two situations. So the first situation is k equals to 0. So in this case, this equation is not a quadratic equation. So let's just plug in this one. So we have 0x squared, so which is 0, plus 0x, which is also 0. And then we have uh, 0 minus 3 equals to 0. Of course, this one does not work. So in this case, we know k can't be 0. Okay, so now this one is a quadratic equation. And because it has real roots, so it's its discriminant will be non-negative. So we just write this as 5k together square minus 4 times 2k and times 5k minus 3. So this will be greater than or equal to 0. It can be 0, right? Because if it's 0, then we have a repeating root. So if it's greater than 0, so we have two different roots. Okay, so let's simplify this one. So we have 25k square minus 20 times 2. So 40k square and plus uh, 24k greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so we have negative 15k squared plus 24k greater than or equal to 0 and divides 3. Negative 5k squared plus 8k. Okay, so this one we can do a factorization. So it will be k negative 5k plus 8. Right, so if we draw this graph, uh, negative 5k squared plus 8k on the uh, Cartesian plane. So it will be, this should be k, this should be y. Okay, so this should be something like this. So this is 0, and this is 8 over 5, and it's facing down, will be this one. So we want this thing to be greater than or equal to 0. So that means it needs to be this part. So we know the k should be greater than 0, or greater than or equal to 0, uh, smaller than or equal to 8 over 5. So we write like this in the set notation. Okay, so that's for the first question. Second one. So we have y equals to 2x minus k, and y also equals to this. Find k such that they don't intersect. Okay, so in this case, we can solve the equation 2x minus k equals to 3x squared plus 2kx plus 5. Because they don't intersect, so that means this equation has no real solution. Okay, so we can write this one into the standard quadratic format. So it will be 3x squared plus 2k minus 2 together x plus 5 plus k equals to 0. Because it has no real solution, so it's discriminant equals to 2k minus 2 squared minus 12 times 5 plus k smaller than 0. So we just simplify this one, 4k squared minus 4, 8k plus 4 minus 12k minus 60 smaller than 0. So we can divide 4 on both sides. So k squared minus 5k minus... Um, 60, 56, 4, so it will be, um, sorry, 56 divides 4, so it will be 1, 4, 1, 4, right? Minus 14 equals to, uh, smaller than 0. Okay, so this one, left-hand side, we can do a factorization. So 1, 1, 7, 2, so negative 7. Okay, so k minus 7 
times k plus 2 smaller than 0. So now let's just draw y equals to k squared minus 5k minus 14. So this one has two intersections with this k axis. So one is negative 2, the other is 7, and it's facing up. Okay, so we want this whole thing to be smaller than 0. So it means the graph needs to be below the k axis. So it will be this part. So uh, the k will be between negative 2 and 7. So we write this one into set notation. Okay, so that's for uh, this second question. Next one. So this question is on page 71 of the textbook. So we have a point on this graph. And then this graph is being transformed into this shape. And we want to find out where this point will be transformed to. So what does this mean? So we have y equals to fx and goes to y equals to fx minus 2, uh, plus 2. So that means it's a translation. And the translation vector will be negative 2, 0. So basically everything will be shifted, uh, will be, yes, be shifted to the left by 2 units. So in this case, the, um, the q is here, which is, um, negative 5, negative 7, so will become negative 7, negative 7. Okay, and then we do this minus 5. So that means it's a translation, and the vector will be 0, negative 5. So it will be moved down by 5 units. So in this case, it will be negative 7 and negative 12. So basically, you can use this point to plus this translation vector, and then you will get the new um, points coordinates. Okay, next question. So here we have Q is being transformed to this point, and we want to find out what is A and B. Okay, so let's just write like this. Y equals to Fx, and then if we do Y equals to Fx plus A. So this is a translation, right? So which is negative a, 0. And then we have y equals to fx plus a minus b. So this is also a translation, and the vector will be 0, negative b. And now we have this q, which is negative 3, negative 6. So after the first translation, it will be negative 3 minus a, negative 6 plus 0. And after the second transformation, so this one will be negative 3 minus a plus is 0, and also negative 6 plus 0 and minus b. So let's simplify this one. It will be negative 3 minus a, negative 6 minus b. So this equals to negative 3, negative 6. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, here, my mistake, because we have Q, not the new point. Sorry, I just need to rewrite this one. So we have Q, which is uh, negative 5, negative 7, sorry. And then this will be transformed to negative 5 minus A and negative 7 plus 0 by the first transformation, a uh, translation. And for the second one, it will be negative 5 minus a plus this 0, negative 7 plus 0 minus b. So it will be negative 5 minus a, negative 7 minus b. So this will be this new point, which is negative 3, negative 6. So in this case, we have negative 5 minus a equals to negative 3, and also negative 7 minus b equals to negative 6. So a will be negative 2, and b will be negative 1. So this transformation will be y equals to fx minus 2 minus negative 1, so plus 1. Okay, next question. So this question is on page 74. So we have a point r on this graph. And then state the coordinates that the point r is transformed to on this curve with this equation. Okay, so... There are several ways of doing this question. So maybe we can look at this transformation first. So if we have uh, y equals to fx being transformed to y equals to f2x. So this is a stretch 
horizontally, and the stretch factor will be uh, the stretch factor will be one over two. And then we have another stretch. So y equals to one over three f two x. So it's a stretch vertically, and the scale factor will be one over three. Okay, so once we understand this part, so we can think about how this point is being moved. So before we have this r equals to four negative six, and if we stretch horizontally, so but the scale factor is one over two, so actually it's shrinking, right? So the four will becomes two, because we use four times one over two. However, its y coordinate will not change. And here we do this vertically, so the x coordinate will not change, so two. But we like shrinking, so here also we call it stretch, but because the scaling factor is smaller than one, actually it's shrinking. So we have negative six times one over three. So this will be negative two. Okay, so that will be the answer. There is another way of doing this question. So because r is on this curve, right? So we know negative six equals to f four. Okay, so here we still want to have this point, right? So how do we have f four inside? So I should have f two times two. And this one equals to three y, because of this. Right, so we know x will be 2 because it's here. And what will be y? So y will be f4 over 3. And f4 is negative 6. So negative 6 over 3 will be negative 2. So this new point will be 2, negative 2. Okay, so probably you can just think about this uh, if you feel like I'm not too sure. But definitely for this one, we get the same answer. Okay, next question. So we have S being transformed to this one and write down the transformation. Okay, so we know there are two uh, stretch. So first is horizontally and second is vertically. So maybe we write this, so Fx. And then if we write Y equals to Fbx. And then we have Y equals to Afbx. So this is a stretch horizontally, and the stretch factor equals to 1 over b. So this one actually will change the x-coordinate. So negative 4 times 1 over b will be negative 8. So we will know b equals to 1 over 2. Okay, so negative 4, 7 will be changed to negative 8, 7. Okay, so after that, the stretch factor is A, because this is vertically. So the X coordinate will not be changed, so negative 8. And Y coordinate will be 7 times the stretch factor, 7A. And we know 7A equals to 1.75, so which is 4, 3, 7 over 4. So A will be 1 over 4. Okay, so here we can write it out. So y equals to 1 over 4, f 1 over 2x. Of course, there's another way of doing this question. So because we know f um, negative 4 equals to 7 from this one, right? And now we want to do the negative 8, 1.75 on this graph. So we have 1.75 equals to a f b times negative 8. Okay, so we want b times negative 8 to be negative 4. So we have this one, negative 8b equals to negative 4. So we have b equals to 1 over 2. Okay, and we know, so let's just plug in this value, 1.75 equals to a f uh, negative 4, right? So we know f negative 4 is 7. So in this case, a will be 1.75 over 7. So still 1 over 4. Okay, so these are the two methods to do this type of questions. So next one. So we have this point R on this graph. State the coordinates of R when it's being transformed by this. Okay, so here we have y equals to fx transformed to y equals to fx plus c. So this is a translation. 
and the vector is negative c zero. And then we have y equals to fx plus c minus d. So that's another translation. So it will be zero negative d. Okay, so r equals to, so here we just write as a vector, negative four. So after the first translation will be six plus negative c, so six minus c, and negative four plus zero, negative four. And after the second one, so we still do the plus, right? So it will be six minus c plus zero, and negative four minus d. So this will be our answer. Okay, so that's everything uh, for this lecture. We hope you have enjoyed it and wish you good luck with your exam. So if you are interested, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Free School Exam Preparation. Thank you.